Last Sunday, reputed mobster Frank DeChico was blown up by a car bomb in front of a Brooklyn restaurant. Today, he was buried in an unconsecrated grave after the Catholic Church refused to give him a mass. As Frank Grimes reports, even his boss would not come out to pay his respects. This morning, Bensonhurst, Brooklyn. Friends and family of Frank DeChico carry his body from the Carpaccio funeral home. Sunday afternoon, also in Bensonhurst, a police officer had carried DeChico's body from this car. DeChico, second in command of the Gambino organized crime family, had opened the passenger door. A bomb under the front seat exploded, killing him. Why? The most popular law enforcement theory, revenge. The Chico, once loyal to former Gambino crime boss Paul Castellano, was suspected of having helped plan his murder in Manhattan last December 16th. Also killed was Thomas Bellotti, the man who was next in line for Castellano's job. With Castellano and Bellotti out of the way, John Gotti, an alleged Gambino family member who had been at odds with Castellano, allegedly took over and appointed De Chico as his underboss. Rival factions within the family resented this, so the hit. Today, the funeral without a Catholic mass. Church officials said one could be held at a later date. The funeral without John Gotti. He was in Brooklyn Federal Court at his trial on racketeering charges. We kept our distance as we made a record of yet another mob funeral. But we weren't the only ones with cameras and pens. Peering through rain streak windows, FBI agents and city cops made their own record of the event. Video and still cameras whirred and clicked as mourners, some of whom hid their faces, left the funeral home. A visual attendance record. Who's there? Who's not there? An indication to law enforcement who might replace the Chico as underboss to Gotti, or who might be the principal in the next funeral. Frank Grimes, Channel 5 News.